Good morning, ESM. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful break and you're ready to school. Uh, attention students interested in the uh, indoor track. We have a se season and it will take place during the fall two season from March 8th to April 24th. Please sign up on Family ID ASAP and email Coach Staub at cstaub at esmschools.org for important preseason information and virtual meeting information. Picture retake photos are in. They are on the table in front of the welcome booth. Seniors, if you have not done so already, please place your cap and gown order. All orders are due by March 15th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Recor in the welcome booth. Now, news. The New York State DMV is warning residents about scams attempting to get personal information. The DMV is asking people who received the text on Saturday morning to not provide any personal information and delete the text messages. The DMV is also warning people not to open the link in the text messages and to not download any files or attachments in the text. On Saturday, February 20th, a United Airlines flight from Denver to Honolulu experienced engine failure shortly after departure. During an attempt to land, multiple pieces of the plane's engine fell off and hit homes in a nearby residential neighborhood. At this time, there are no reported injuries and the incident is being investigated by the National Transportation Safety Board. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 37 degrees and a low of 28 degrees, and today will be windy with a chance of some mixed in wet snow and a little rain over the lower terrain today. Accumulations of two inches, but accumulations are expected, expected, to, expected sorry, to be two inches, but two to six inches over Tug Hill. Later today, we will have lingering snow showers lingering east of Lake Ontario across Tug Hill, where a additional one to three inches is possible. Tuesday will still be breezy and have a chance of snow mixed with a little rain, coating to an inch. Tuesday will also have a high of 38 and a low of 30 degrees, and I'm Grayson with your weather. for some sports. The boys basketball team lost their last game against West Genesee. They play tomorrow at Fulton. The girls basketball team will resume their season next week. Some NBA news, the New York Knicks won a close game against the Minnesota Timberwolves, 103-99, to improve to a 15-16 record. Star forward Julius Randle led the team in points again and with 25, with 25 points excuse me, and 14 rebounds with second-year guard R.J. Barrett also putting up 21 points. Following the game, the Timberwolves fired head coach Ryan Saunders and immediately hired Raptors assistant coach Chris Finch to take his place. Some national news, Alex Morgan recovering from COVID and child labor at the same time, uh, returns to the field and starts to prepare for the Olympics. On Wednesday, February 10th, Therese Paler, a senior NFL writer, died at the young age of 37. The cause of his death has not been released. And I'm John, with your sports. Well, thanks for watching. Um, have a good day.